Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to do a USB BIOS flash using the BIOS flashback button on the ASUS ROG Strix Gaming F2. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a USB BIOS flash on your ASUS ROG Strix B450 F Gaming version 2. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward, simple process to do, but some of you still do get stuck, and occasionally I do myself, so it'd be nice to go through the process just to see how easy it is. From what I can tell, it's actually very, very straightforward, but it's always going to be one of those things which uh, does kind of put the fear of God into you a little bit if anything should go wrong. So hopefully watch this video through the first time, then you should have a really good understanding of how it all works and have the confidence to go ahead and do it yourself. So the things you're going to need for this is a power supply for the motherboard. You don't need a processor, you don't need RAM, you don't need any storage. So literally all you need is the bare board itself, the power supply to power the board itself. Now again, it doesn't have to be an expensive power supply as long as it's got the 24 pin power connector for the board itself and also either a four or eight pin to go in this top corner, that's absolutely fine. Also, you will need a working computer able to access the internet, to download the BIOS itself, and also you'll need a USB flash drive in order to transfer the BIOS from the computer into the motherboard. So once you've got all those things together, you're ready to head over to the website. So we're on a Windows 10 desktop, and I'm just gonna insert my USB drive into one of the front panels. And there we go, so we've got our USB drive. Always good uh, practice. Go in and format the drive, make sure it's FAT32, that's really important. Uh, the allocation unit size you can set to default and make sure there's nothing in the volume label and perform quick format. So we'll click start. And there we go, that's the format complete. So that's our USB drive ready to go. So next thing I'll do is to actually get the bar. So if we go open up Google and if we do ASUS ROG Strix B450 Gaming 2. That should be a pretty much good approximation, so that's the one we want there. So ROG Strix B450 F Gaming 2 or Mark 2. Go straight into that site. I'll put links to all this in the video description below to make it a little bit quicker for you guys. And essentially, the board that I've got is uh, from March 2021 and it's actually got the BIOS version 4007 on it. So that is uh, the newest but one, so we can upgrade it a little bit further. And what we need to do is to go into support and then we can go into drivers and tools and then you've got the option for BIOS and firmware. So first thing to do, obviously, if you wanna get your drivers and tools, you can always go ahead and get those as well to put them on the drive and tie it up to you. We're going to go into BIOS and firmware. So it will show you the latest BIOS normally on the website. Again, this is March 2021, so it may look slightly different to you. The current version is version 4204. If we show all downloads, that's the one I've got. I've got 4007. So updated with support for GSA V2P 1.200, and it improves the resizable bar compatibility for NVIDIA RTX 30 series cars, which you can't buy and improve system performance, which is always a good thing. So we're going to go ahead now and download this. And first of all, I'm going to download it onto the desktop. Save it there. And that shouldn't take very long. The file itself is actually a zipped file. So we'll minimize these windows a moment. And here is our file. So we can extract here or extract to, whichever you want to do. Use the extraction method of your choice. You can use Windows built-in one if you wish to. And inside the folder itself, we'll see there is a couple of files. Now, one is BIOS renamer. So what you need to do is essentially you need to rename this BIOS file so it's something that the computer or the motherboard can actually uh, read. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on BIOS renamer. And it tells you there. So that is the original file name. So rog-strix-b450, etc., etc. And it's now been renamed to rx450f2.cap. So as it says there, the file has been renamed to this. To use BIOS flashback, copy that to the root of your USB flash drive. Press any key to continue. So that's that done. So as you can see now, our file name has changed. If you want to, you can change it yourself manually, but um, most of the time it's just easier to use the BIOS renamer. You don't have to download anything extra. It does come actually in the zipped folder. 
So now what we need to do is right click on this one and we'll choose copy and then we'll go to our USB drive and right click and choose paste. Obviously, whichever method you choose to actually transfer the file is entirely up to you, but essentially that is what you need. So just this file on its own in the root of your USB drive, which is formatted FAT32 and ready to go. So now we can eject that. So you can either go to the bottom here and click on Eject Ultra, which is our Sandisk Ultra. And there we go. So now we can take the USB drive out and now head over to our setup computer. Okay, so now we've got our USB drive ready to go. So now we need to get the motherboard prepared. So I've put the motherboard onto the box that it came in just to keep it uh, off of the surfaces, that kind of stuff. We've got a cheapo power supply, but all we need is a couple of connectors on there. So that's gonna be absolutely fine. And we'll need obviously a power supply for the power supply, a power cable. So we'll just use the kettle lead. And we'll plug that one in. So all we need to do for the actual motherboard itself is to use our 24 pin power connector and also the four pin or eight pin supplementary connector. So I'm gonna spin this round. So we'll stick that one in first of all in this top corner. And then we've got the 24 pin one, which goes into the side here. And you can tell if it's working or not because there is like a standby thing actually on these ASUS boards, so you can see the, uh, the RGB illuminating. So the next thing to do is to actually plug in our USB drive. Now it's very important that you actually plug it into the right ports. If you look at the IO section down here, you'll notice there's a load of USB ports. You've got our flash button there, and also just underneath the LAN section, we've got the BIOS flash port. So we're gonna go ahead now and plug that in. So making sure it's running the right way, and put it into the BIOS flash position. So that's pretty straightforward. So now all we need to do is actually just press the BIOS flash button and then release. And then you should see that the, uh, there's a very small LED, which I'll see if I can get an angle on it on the camera. And just about make it out there, it's absolutely tiny. You can see there is a flashing LED just there. So wait a minute, let that do its thing. So it's flashing slowly at the moment. What we normally tend to see on these particular types of boards is it will flash slowly for a while, which means it's actually reading the bars and then it'll get to the point where it will flash either quicker or it'll stop. So we'll just let it do its thing for a minute and uh, see what happens. You can now see the, uh, the BIOS LED over here is now flashing a little bit quicker and also from the overhead camera view, we can see that the actual USB stick is actually starting to flash and transfer data now. So we'll let it carry on, keep an eye on the, uh, the flashing, see what happens. I think it's most likely you're just gonna have to wait until it just basically stops what it's doing. There we go, so the LED is now extinguished on the BIOS flash on the back. And also looking at the top, now the USB has stopped flashing also. So that appears to have uh, done what it needs to do. So now we're gonna do is put a processor and also some RAM on, and just to check that the BIOS is updated as it should have. Okay, so we've turned it back on. Uh, not done anything else other than assemble the system with this bare essentials. So we've got a Ryzen 3400G, some of our uh, V-Color RAM in here, uh, DDR4-3600, HDMI cable connected, and a wireless dongle for our Logitech keyboard and mouse. So this is the first screen that you'll expect to see when the system reboots. So as you can see, it says ROG Strix B450F Gaming 2, ACPI revision 4204, which is the latest version. We were previously on version 4007, so it has taken the upgrade, absolutely fantastic. It now says, uh, new CPU installed, please refer to setup to configure your system. This is a completely normal thing to see, so once you've done a BIOS flash, because it's essentially replaced the existing BIOS and its settings, you will need to go into the BIOS by pressing F1 to go in and set up your BIOS settings, such as your RAM speeds, overclocking settings, 
SATA drives, all those kinds of things. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. Um, if there's any comments or questions, please do feel free to put them in the comments section below. Or alternatively, you can join us on our Discord chat. Uh, links for that will also be in the video description below. So hopefully this has been helpful. If it has, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this on a regular basis, then you can click on the subscribe button and also the chime button, and it really helps the channel. So this has been how to use the USB BOSS flashback method on your ASUS RO Strix B450 Gaming F Mark II. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.